Good evening, and welcome to Thursday Evening Compline at St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City, Florida. Our service of Compline is guided by the Mission St. Clair app, or you can join along with us with the Book of Common Prayer and an order of service was sent out earlier this evening right here on our Facebook page. As always, we ask you to leave us some kind of a comment or reaction so that we know that you are here praying with us as we pray with and for you. Let us pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our psalm this evening is Psalm number 91, which we will say together. Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinions and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor of the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold to see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your habitation, there shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder. You shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because he is bound to me in love, therefore will I deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our word this evening comes from the book of Hebrews. May the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus and great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Thanks be to God. Please join me now as we say together the prayer responses. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us now say together the prayer that our Lord and Savior taught us to pray, saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto you. Let us pray. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne, and illumine this night with your celestial brightness, that by night as by day your people may glorify your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we give thanks, O God, for revealing your Son, Jesus Christ, to us by the light of his resurrection. Grant that as we sing your glory at the close of this day, our joy may abound in the morning as we celebrate the Paschal Mystery. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray for our own needs and those of others. Lifting up this day, St. Mary's Episcopal Church and her people. Beseeching you, gracious God, to guide, guard, and protect us and to give us your grace and blessing as we do your ministry in this place. We pray for all of those on our parish prayer list, those preparing for and recovering from surgeries and procedures. We pray for those who have ongoing care of need and healing. We pray for those with urgent need this day, especially Tom Parks, Dara Morgan, Lee Conley, John Harrison, Robert Worth, Peggy Fetch, are there others to be named? Gracious God, I pray this day for Sharon, for Casey and Crawford, for Jessica and Kate. I pray for Sue, for Kelly, for David, for Becky and Mike. I pray for John and David, for Alexa and Lauren. I pray for Enid and for Jan. Gracious God, I lift up to you Bob and Dee and Adam, Haley, Morgan, and Emma, Bo and Patty, Kevin and Cindy, Kyle, Jordan, Jamie, and Ryan. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us now say together the song of Simeon. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with you this day and forevermore. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we thank you for joining us this Thursday evening for our prayerful service of Compline. As always, we invite you to our Sunday services of worship and praise at 745 and 10 o'clock right here at St. Mary's in Dade City. If you still don't feel safe in coming to church in person, we do stream our 10 o'clock service live right here on our Facebook page. My brothers and sisters, continue to take care of yourself. Show yourself self-care physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Reach out to those you love and see how you might be able to help them. Call someone you haven't talked to in a while. You might be the only voice they hear this day. My brothers and sisters, I wish you a good night. May God bless you this night and always. <music>